Dear Libra, this is Ascension Empress with your bonus, timeless, ancestor guidance reading. So we'll be looking into love and career since love was in the lead for the poll on the community post, but then career took over. Um, so I decided we might as well look into the messages. Wow. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. We gonna talk, y'all. We gonna talk. Um, we're going to look into love and career. May peace and blessings be upon you all. Thank you so much for your support, your love, and your patience. Yeah, I do get this energy around avoiding a tower, okay? And I'm interested in seeing what your ancestors have to say because the other signs, their ancestors have been very direct, respectfully, but direct, okay? Like, it's like that energy around they don't play about you so they're not gonna they're not gonna sugarcoat it either okay like i'm getting this tough love type energy so we gonna see y'all we gonna see please yeah libra okay please take what resonates with you leave the rest all right i am open now for personal so you can email me my information will be down below and this again is for my libra sun moon arising take what placement reson ooh, resonates with you okay yeah there's communication that's going to be coming in clearly all right clear communication as well as what i'm hearing okay and then you got the nine of swords so there may be some worry or some anxiety going on about not being sure not having you know any clarity there's worry about not knowing is what i'm getting okay because i'm getting aquarius energy too some of y'all could be looking yeah, I'm getting thinking about an opportunity, but y'all are like beyond the Eight of Swords. You're in the Nine of Swords energy, or maybe you can't sleep. Somebody's sleeping on a decision as well. Something around a decision and communication, especially, all right? Queen of Swords here and the Ace of Swords. Let's see what's going into the past here. Ooh. And it wants to talk about, yeah, look. Okay, the Two of Wands. <sighs> okay, so I feel like that this anxiety, somebody's worrying. Somebody has a spirit of fear around them because of, it's like they're worried that they're going to re receive some type of communication about not being able to move forward, not being able to move on or have options. Let's see, spirit. What messages do we have going into the past? Look at that. Yeah, the sun card. Spirit, clarify this nine and yeah, I was like, see, I was gonna say the nine wands. So look, wow, wow, y'all. Okay, so if this is you, spirit is definitely saying snap out of it, <laughs> snap out of it because you will think yourself into this position. All right. Also, I'm getting there is somebody around you who is worried because you may be very. I'm hearing cutthroat. Um, not paying them any attention i'm getting they're not included all right especially if there's some type of communication some type of decision somebody here is worried somebody here is really having a hard time with whatever is going on as far as communication or some type of decision about moving forward or not being able to move forward it's because upright it's you know knowing you have options okay but it's just like somebody i feel like you or someone else has separated themselves you made it very clear or the communication is oh, let's see let's go ahead and see spirit yeah three okay definitely something that has to do with planning all right i'm hearing strategy research spirit what is going on with this three of pentacles energy that the way that flipped was again y'all three and three so there's definitely a waiting energy here about some goals, planning around long-term, short-term short -term goals. I'm hearing three months, three years, but spirit is definitely saying, yeah, saying be discerning, okay? Make sure, oh, okay, make sure you're not making decisions and plans based off of, you know, this nine of swords energy, okay? Because I'm getting a spirit is saying, you know, sleep on this. Yeah, that was the energy around sleep on this because somebody's going to run into this, like a brick wall is what I'm getting. 
Okay, because there's an energy around one of the plan, three of pentacles, and the three of wands. All right, but patience is required. Patience, research is required. Okay, because I feel like there's still a lot that has not been revealed yet to you, especially intuitively. Like I'm hearing there's a lot going on transformation wise. Okay, so somebody is trying to like plan and move out of fear is what I'm getting with the nine of swords here. Okay, so what advice do you have? What advice do you have for my Libras? Because I was going to say, because it could be justified. All right, but look at that. You got the Ten of Swords, y'all. From the Nine to the Ten. Okay, what comes after that? The Ace of Swords. Okay, the clarity, the awareness. So even if, you know, I, I do get there is a mental exhaustion here too. So some of y'all could like be in this Three of Pentacles energy so much that you just, you know, be careful because I feel like y'all got that energy months ago where your mental health was your priority. Okay? Peace of mind. What other advice do you have? Look at that. Yeah, see? The chariot and the strength. So whatever move y'all are trying to make, because this, we, we about to look into career and love, okay? Because Spirit is saying have conviction, Okay? Be strong. Don't be moved because this nine of swords energy, this ten of swords will have you just, it'll have you moved. Okay. I'm also hearing um, a double minded man. Okay. So some of y'all could be dealing with the Gemini energy, but I'm also getting, you know, be careful because, okay. Yeah. We do have this retrograde energy. Saturn, Saturn, y'all. <laughs> Especially if you have Leo in your chart, you have to be mindful of how you move forward. Okay, and I'm also getting cancer energy. Let's see what's going on, spirit. Integrity and decisions is huge. What do we need to know about this two of wands in reverse? That's yeah, look at that. Not see, see, nine of cups, y'all. So there is a going forward, somebody's wishes are not going to be fulfilled, or it's not going to be what someone thinks. I'm hearing if they don't have integrity. And what's the word conviction in their decisions and their communication and how they are moving forward, how they make decisions. Oh, okay, so how they make decisions moving forward is what I'm getting because that makes a lot of sense, y'all. Jupiter is about to go right back into Aquarius, so we're about to experience this Jupiter and Saturn conjunction again until the end of the year, all right. And then all these most of these planets that are retrograde that are they're going to be going direct in october okay so november december that eclipse energy it's just like spirit is saying you can be moving as fast as you want now all right but um <clears throat> come gemini full moon sagittarius energy so there's yeah because there's a collective who is you know being greedy they've overindulged all right it's just there's nothing there's nothing more there's no option um the lessons the lessons y'all it's a lot okay so queen of swords i feel like this is definitely saturn energy reminding you or someone that yep yep <laughs> be mindful of how you moving forward all right so let's see what else do you want them to know yeah king of wands y'all Okay, so some of y'all could definitely be the, ooh, <laughs> someone who may have you nervous, okay, okay. This could be, okay, because I dang near stuttered, y'all, and this person could be a little bit intimidating, or there's, we're going to see, but somebody could definitely be dealing with the fire sign, all right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what do we need to know about this King of Wands energy spirit? Look, you see? the devil okay so this could definitely be a yeah be be mindful of someone who may be trying to control the situation but also i'm telling you someone is in a state of fear okay someone is worried this is that worried energy okay with the devil and there is no faith here someone i, I really feel like you know this person is trying to remain strong but 
I'm kidding. Let's see. Spirit, what do we need to know about the King of Wands, Energy, and the Devil? What do we need to look? Yeah, see? Ten of Cups. Okay, so this could definitely be someone you have a family with. Or, I'm hearing a father figure, definitely, because you got the Saturn Energy. All right, yeah. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Definitely. Okay, so there. Wow. Wow. Everything is fine. Again, so that's. <sighs> It looks like there is a want and a desire on this masculine energy. You know, it could definitely be a father figure. I'm getting, you know, a masculine that you have a connection with. Somebody you could even be doing business with. Someone is, they see your back is turned and so focused on this chariot, but your back is turned to them. And I feel like that's where this frustration is happening. It's like pretending as if everything is fine. And that's where, you know, the devil has an opportunity because this person isn't, uh, they're not, you know, allowing themselves to be in this energy too. Because I'm hearing, you know, especially if this is, a, yeah, if this is a partnership, they're not feeling it. All right. They're not feeling like it's a partnership, but I feel like there's going to be this talk of a renewal or there's going to be a renewal of faith because this person has come to the very end of exhaustion because i feel like y'all come to exhaustion too all right because you have the nine of swords and the ten of swords so let's let's see what advice do you have look at that yeah see nine of cups there may be a proposal going forward by you or coming to you yeah wow this seven of swords wants to pop out in the past on the sun so something may have been revealed and that's what's what's going on what's going on spirit yeah we're gonna have to do another reading y'all <laughs> look the lovers okay <sighs> someone wants to restore this connection someone wants to propose yeah i'm hearing some type of compromise but it would oh it, it's gonna be especially if this is a connection that you are wanting to move forward with is yeah there there is definitely a compromise here because there's nothing fulfilling happening over here and there's just nothing but moving forward energy i'm getting even maybe some pride here on this side all right because you got the strength card and it keeps looking to the past okay so maybe some past happiness or i'm hearing yeah so um there may have been a child something that happened as a child Someone's trying to, someone felt like their childhood was stolen is what I'm getting, okay? And this, okay, so what do you want my Libras to know, Spirit? Look at that, yeah, the hermit, wow. Spirit wants you to know it's time to go within, it's time to reflect. Don't be afraid to be in solitude, because trust, those answers, they're coming to you, especially if you are in this nine of swords and ten of swords energy, what you get in this hermit energy is truth and clarity, okay, and a lot of self-awareness, a lot, some people go through this when they're just, you know, starting to really experience those ascension symptoms, and all of a sudden, they can be around so many people, but it's just like feeling alone, and they eventually, you just start to become isolated, from things, habits, certain things, yeah, certain ways of being, validation as well is what I'm hearing. Okay, Virgo season. There may be a separation here as well. Okay, I'm hearing this could lead to separation or spirit is, you know, really advising you all to go within because this could cause, yeah, look at that, y'all. See, that's separation energy. If you think you're going to be here in this Queen of Swords, trust and believe somebody here with this King of Swords energy here to match you here i'm trying to reciprocate they they ready to reciprocate because i'm getting there they were trying to be patient with the three of wands okay you were somebody else all right look yeah ten of wands it was a burden this is a burden for somebody and this definitely has to do with one you about to drop it okay because Look, you all these tens. There's a completion. There's an end of a cycle. There's a, and this is. I was talking to Aquarius about this, y'all, and that's like a collective reading. It's like pride before the fall, definitely. Pride before the fall. Okay, and it's like when yeah, God says those who humble themselves will be exalted, and those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and that's what I'm getting here. Ten of Wands. It's just like no more. There's going to be some sharp communication, some clear communication. What advice? Look at that. Yeah. Around a commitment. We'll see. Look, I told you. I told you. The world card. Completion. Them tens. 
okay? And the higher five around beliefs, around morals, around values. I told you this integrity, this Leo energy, this Leo season is highlighting a lot of that. It's opposing a lot of Jupiter, okay? And Saturn, like, can we not play? Can we not play, okay? Capricorn energy, Saturn energy. God is here, like, this is test time. This is definitely test time. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Wow. I see someone's ancestor here, like, Five of Cups, like, here to offer you some type of love because there's regret. There's going to be regret because I feel like someone is not, they're choosing not to answer the call. I'm, like, I'm... I'm seeing it, y'all. The way this strength card, the way she's smiling at the past. Okay. Spirit, because, yeah. And this is, that's going to be a whole nother collective reading. Because that's what Spirit has really been putting on my heart. Is that, it's just like looking at past disappointments like, or unfulfilled connections or the third party situations like whatever happened ed whatever happened it's mm -mm. look at that y'all that's 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 that it's rebirth season and you can choose to be in this but you will be by yourself somebody who's gonna be by themselves crying with the five of cups okay and i definitely feel like i'm talking to a cross watcher i ain't gonna lie but it's just like there were so many times that spirit called you is what i'm getting so there's going to be some type of love here maybe from an ancestor i'm also hearing therapy is definitely yet yeah, somebody needs to go see a counselor with the queen of cups here because there's a lot of codependency energy and I'm hearing someone's not able to express themselves. They're not. And then it's just like someone is regretful and feeling guilty after the fact. But it's just like I'm hearing this. It went on for so long. Like so long. Someone even has the. I'm seeing they have the vision to see. Okay. So what advice do you have, Spirit? Look at that. Yeah. Y'all. I told you. The Emperor. Okay, somebody's definitely dealing with an Aries. But the advice is, one, okay, because if this is somebody who, you know, is having trouble with, you know, this pride energy, Spirit is saying, like, be mindful of how you use your power. Okay, the power that has been given to you, the resources that have been given to you, the opportunity, the position that has been given to you has been given by God. Okay? So when you take charge, when you make decisions, when you sit on that throne, when you say no to people, when you turn your back, when you look at the past with pride, God is saying, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And for those who do, oh, honey, this emperor energy, that, it's going it's, it, it's to be upright. Okay? One more overall. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of emotional maturity that's happening here. So, again, there's an emphasis on digging below. Like, it, does it fulfill you on a soul level? Okay, is it going to contribute to your life purpose and the service that you are supposed to be providing in this lifetime? Or is it surface level? Because that's why this person walks away. They're like, mm-mm. Okay, because why? They're going towards this ninth cup. True fulfillment. Okay, that incorporates self-love. Look at that. Okay, y'all, this moon energy going to be huge. And I'm hearing these two, you know, this full moon that just happened in Aquarius, the next one, August 22nd. And then on August 8th, 14 days before that, we have the Lionsgate portal. That's going to be huge for you all. So we going to have to do another reading <laughs> because clearly y'all ancestors wanted you to know this. We're going to look into love and career in the next reading as well. But I appreciate you all so much. Stay intuitive, okay? Spirit is saying that your intuition is going to be very high at a time that everything is not clear, okay? That's why that Nine of Swords was there earlier. And some of y'all may be losing sleep a lot. Yeah, may not be able to get a lot of sleep because there's a lot going on with you um, on a spiritual level as well. So I love you all. Take care. Bye.